Hello, people. Today I have with us the Hexagear Alternative Messer Float. And this one is a really cool 124 scale model uh, of a wasp. It looks like a mechanoid biological augmented uh, being. Very, very cool. Very simple. I built this one on one of the live streams that I had done uh, maybe two months ago. So he's been sitting around waiting for me to review him for a while. Uh, but here he is finally. Uh, now there is a write up on it. I don't have the information on that on me right now because I need to translate it. But so let's go ahead and check on the articulation on this one. Uh, it is uh, 124 scale, so there's not too much to it, but there is enough to write a little bit of a story about it. It is a hexagear alternative, which means that you're usually less detailed and uh, less to them than the uh, uh, the mainline stuff, but it still has quite a bit uh, going for it, including these massive wings and um, uh, let's just go ahead and get into it. Okay, so it does not come with the stand. You have to get that separate, but anything with a three millimeter port will fit in that hexagram style port here or one in the back here if you wanted to pose it facing forward like so which actually it does have a really good look if you do it that way let's show you that one real fast it's like my stand is seen better days but you get the idea uh, and then there is a stinger on this one so that is an even better pose right there as you see uh, but let's do that articulation first so get this guy off and like i said it doesn't come with that stand unfortunately but anything with a three millimeter peg will work so at the head there's just a ball joint inside here that goes to that first neck section the first neck section is also on a ball joint so it can rotate move around like so so is the main thorax section we have wings on ball joints as well and then they are pegged into uh, like a hoop here so you can move them on those as well all the way 360 degrees and then as much as you'd like to rotate these this way as well so you see ball joint at the bottom and then pegged in so you can flop them about The arms peg in like so, so you can turn those 360 degrees. They also rotate at the wrist or the elbow here. And then one point of articulation at the elbow. They can hold weapons, um, not very well, but they can hold weapons if you wanted to. They do look a bit more intimidating without them though. The thorax section is the thorax section is connected to a middle section of the abdomen, a very narrow section here that has a point of articulation inside the abdomen. Let's you move that up and down. You can rotate the front, but not the back. This does have a wide degree of articulation. Let's see, from here all the way up, if you line it perfectly up, all the way down. So quite a bit there. Uh, the legs here are same as the front. It's in, in fact, the same connector. So you can rotate that 360 degrees and move these ones out. Mm -hmm as far as the armor will allow you. This one can rotate at that swivel as well, here at the back, and then one point of articulation at the lower leg. Very dainty looking. Uh, like I said, this one doesn't have too much articulation here, uh, but at the very back, you have an up and down inside and then this one moves all the way forward and back. You can also 
remove this. It's not a point of articulation, but that becomes a sword when you add on its stinger, like so. And the sword can be used by any of the uh, hexagear governors. All right, and we can slide that back in. And like I said before, there is his stinger. Very intimidating looking sting. I wish it wasn't so long back here, or maybe this was tucked in further, but it's not bad. It's not a bad shape. And you put this, turn these guys forward, put it up like this. It definitely has that wasp look. And uh, on the stand, you see it's very intimidating looking. Let's see. I would stay away from that. All right, and for size comparison, here is my high grade Gundam. This is a GBN base Gundam, uh, 144 scale, where this isn't, remember, is 124 scale, so it's much smaller in terms of scale. But in terms of size, it's actually quite big. Uh, it goes up to his waist here, and uh, as you will see when I bring out the uh, Hexagear Governor, it is pretty, uh, pretty large. All right, and here he is next to the 1144 scale 30 minute missions Alto. Uh, again, quite a big fly, got quite a big bee here. Uh, if I rotate that one here to the side, you can see he is standing on his toes, not quite straight up. I wanted to give him a tripod position so you guys can see just about how tall he is standing. Uh, there you go. All right, and I don't know if I mentioned it, but Hexagear is a Kotobukiya company uh, or brand. Kotobukiya also makes the Frame Arms series. This is the Frame Arms Jinrai, and it is in 1 100 scale. Now, this one would be much, much larger, four times larger than um, this would be if it was in 124 scale. So you could picture this knee probably being about as high as he is. So <laughs> it's quite a bit bigger. In terms of shelf space, uh, he, does, he is still standing pretty tall up to his upper leg here. All right, and getting to about how large this fly, this bug is, this insect is. Um, this again is a 124 scale, but the architect from the Frame Arms Girl series uh, is 112 scale roughly. So at half her height, that's what we're looking at. At you know 124 scale would be halved, so she's about up to her leg there, and. Uh, you know, this is a frighteningly large guy, even for a 112 scale. A cool pet, though. And here is a proper comparison between a 124 scale model kit, which is the Hexagear Governor. This one is the Nero, uh, which is a Parapon Knight type governor. And uh, here he is standing next to this thing. You can almost write it. Uh, but if that is on the attack, it would be a terrifyingly large enemy, I think. Okay, and then last but not least, our Alex Gundam in Master Grade. You can see here, quite a large lad as usual, uh, always dwarfing my model kits. And he is a Master Grade in 1 100 scale, so of course he is very, very large. Uh, pretty much double the height of this guy here. It's pretty crazy how big these guys look when you compare them to other model kits. All right, and as far as extras, there isn't really anything extra with this one. What you see is what you get. And at the price, it's kind of reasonable. It's $16.99. Uh, $16 it was the MSRP. I paid a little bit more for it because I got it from one of my local stores. I just want them to have Hexagear, you know? Um, but it is a really, really cool thing. Uh, it does come with uh, the ability to expand if you want to swap out some of the parts. Um, it's not exactly designed for that per se. The parts that are on this one are pretty much unique to this one, but you can move some of the parts around if you wanted to uh, try to make your own custom. That said, this one is a really unique looking kit. I think uh, insects are sadly underappreciated in the model kit scene. They are very mechanical looking in general, and I think they would translate really well over to robots. So I don't know why they don't do that more. Um, that said, it is, for now, very unique. There is another Hexagear set coming out. Actually, I think there's three sets all in all. 
uh, that are combined to become a giant beetle, which is very fun. And then also 30 Minute Missions has a combinable vehicle set, or uh, what do they call it? The exo vehicle sets, the... I don't remember what they call them. Extended armament vehicles. And uh, that one is sort of reminiscent of a centipede and you can connect them together so that you get an even longer centipede, which that's coming out pretty soon. I'm excited to see that one. Hopefully I can get my hands on a couple and do a review for you guys. Um, but that is going to be it for this guy. He came out quite a long time ago. And like I said, I built this one about two months ago on stream. And that was about a month after I got him. So he's been out for at least three months here in the States. It's not very easy to find, but if you do find it, I highly recommend this one. Even at the price I paid for it, which is I think $26, something like that. Uh, about $10 over what his MSRP is. He's still a really cool set, so highly recommend that is going to be it for this one here guys thank you very much for watching and being patient i know it's been a while since i've done a model kit review so i uh really appreciate that been to a lot of different places done a lot of things overextending myself so i try to get some information out there for you guys that air show recently was really really cool i'll try to get back to these reviews on a regular basis Thank you, though, for watching, and I will see you guys next time, or you'll see me, but more than likely you'll see my stuff. Bye-bye.